Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Fate Extra. I suddenly realized that I haven't seen Leo once since day one. Yeah, we were too busy fighting ghosts. The only remaining masters of the school are me, Leo, and Rani. At least I have two people to talk to. Just wish one of them wanted to have a conversation right now. We could talk about, uh, oh that's right. I've never asked Annie, Rat Rani, what she'd wish for with the Holy Grail. The second cipher key has been generated, but we'll get that after. A terminal chimes inform me of a challenge, a last challenge. By meeting it, the door to the last elimination, uh, eliminate, elimination battle will open. Well, I'm immersed in thought, the classroom door slides open and Kotomine appears. Uh-oh. Does is, is he know about our thing? It seems you've been alerted to the next challenge. I'm delighted that my work is almost done. Your opponent has received his notification as well. You do well not to back down now. I don't need Kotomine to warn me that the search for the final cipher keys won't be easy. I run the risk of crossing swords with Leo on the second level too. Then I won't see you until the day of the elimination battle. Good luck. His chuckle sort of undermines the whole meaning of good luck. He leaves the classroom. Last challenge. There are four days left until the day of the elimination battle. And my uncertain fate awaits me there. Do whatever I can so that I have no regrets. Like going to the library and reading about Gawain, who we know is the opponent. Like, irrequivocably. Like, okay. I see. Uh, well, we did level up, so let's head to the chapel. Let's grab one of these. Yeah, we're gonna bump up our... Uh, defense there. Now let's get more attack. Screw it. Make that even. Okay. Yeah, it's not a lot, but it should be enough for now. Will the tofu ever return, or have I quenched how much tofu will ever appear? Alas, like a dream, it is gone. Fleeting. Uh, let's grab some of those. And uh, we only have... That's more than enough there. Okay. Is Taiga here? Does she even have missions? Okay, yeah, here we go. I can care to listen to your favorite teacher's absolute final request. If it's the last one, sure. I know I've been making you work really hard, but this is the final one, honest. I have a feeling that the, somewhere in the arena is an object that grants wishes. If you go ahead and get it, I'll promise I will leave you alone. Really, no more requests ever. You can find it today. Only on the arena second floor. Can you go get it for me now? Okay. Well, that's pretty... That's pretty, like, cut and dry when we have to get it. So, hey, at least there's that. Um, hi, Rani. As usual, when I go to meet Rani, she's staring up at the sky from the third floor hallway. Her profile, illuminated by light, is so striking that I hesitate to disturb her. Good day, Hakuno. Sorry, I hope I wasn't intruding. When I apologize for interrupting her meditative state, she smiles reassuringly. I'm so glad to see your smile. I suppose it might look that way. If so, then you're the cause, Hakuno. I'm an instrument for Atlas. I've never had any purpose outside of carrying out their mission. Rani is here in the first place because of the Atlas Institute, but surely the bonds holding her to it have been loosened. However, I can no longer do their bidding. My professor told me- Oh, by the way, I, I know who the professor is. And it's wild. It's wild. I don't even know if I want to get into it here. I talk about it in a grand order there. My professor told me that the Earth is facing destruction when it has no need to. Since Atlas's founding, alchemists have envisioned ways to prevent humanity's self-destruction. Through every thought, or though every thought experiment ends in humanity's annihilation, they continue their research. I do not know the manner in which my professor believes humanity will perish. I do not know whether the moon cell is the trigger or the panacea that will stem the destruction. My professor simply ordered me to investigate the moon cell and to destroy it if needed. I have been greatly thwarted, but I can at least keep the Harways from attaining the Holy Grail. I have never been anything but a sacrifice. That is my function. Rennie speaks indifferently, but I find her choice of words to be disconcerting. 
What does she mean by function? She told me that she was made, but I don't know the details. Aw, oh, my man doesn't know about homunculi. I'm pretty sure she doesn't mean someone who is simply taught all she knows by Atlas. Yes, I was made. I am a homunculus constructed by my professor. I am the results of alchemists' thaumaturgy, of practices slipping into the sands of time. I am not a bearer of human life like Rin Tosaka or the other masters. Even though she thinks of herself as an instrument, when I look at her I see a slightly eccentric but normal girl. On the surface, maybe she's just a doll carried out, sent out to carry out a task. However, you called me friend, Hakuno. You filled this empty vessel with your hopes. That is why I wish to live and see this mission through. Because I want us to leave this place together. Those aren't the sentiments of a homunculus, but of a human heart. She's no longer beholden to the whims of the Institute, but to her own heart. I'll honor her resolve with renewed efforts of my own to win this war. Okay, cool. Guess we will. Still can't go in the multimedia room. Okay. Um. God, there's like no NPCs left, huh? There just straight up really isn't. So, in that case, uh, we got your request. Did we grab Sakura's item? I think we did. That was her last lunch, right? Yep. Okay, okay, well. On to the second floor of the labyrinth. Go head on in there. We are approaching the end of this game. Oh, hi, Leo. You're just here. Younger Harway stands in the hallway. A red clad... That's orange, but okay. A red clad prince waiting to grant me an audience. It's Leo. We agree. That's orange, right? I'm not crazy. That's very clearly orange, not red, right? Right? It's okay. I didn't bring Gawain with me. I have something I wish to speak to you about. Leo's words are disarming. It's true, Gawain, is, who is usually by his side, is never to be seen. When you fought my brother, I did not expect you to escape digital death. You bested him, though. And it is a credit to my brother that you have held out until the very end. Thank you for that. You have my gratitude. It's hard to tell if he's agitated about his brother's death since he's thanking me. Could any normal person be so calm in this situation? It gives me the creeps to listen. My brother was weak. That's why he was selfish and defensive. Well, he said he believed me. He really just believed his childhood promise to his mother. But he must have been happier that way. Leo's mother was a woman Julius mentioned at the end, the one who wished Leo well. He must have been happy when he died, remembering that face and that voice. At least I think so. Anyway, you did well by my brother. I know he would want to thank you, and... Hold your tongue, Leo. There's no need to converse with your enemy at this point. I told you not to manifest, Gawain. Oh. I apologize for his behavior. He holds no malice, so please try to forgive him. No, trust me, all the malice comes in the Camelot pseudo-singularity. Castigated by Leo, Gawain frowns and disappears. Not missing a beat, Leo continues. In any case, our battle commences in just four days. I look forward to the unparalleled battle ahead of us, Hakuno. He speaks with sportsmanship, but I can tell he doesn't think he'll lose. So curious about one thing, why is Leo participating in the Holy Grail War? Well, I feel like that's pretty obvious. The reason I want the Holy Grail? For world peace, of course, yeah, because of the plutocracy. The Holy Grail will be effective in strengthening the Harway rule. Harway's management system is what keeps the world stable, the real world, that is. Neither strife nor poverty exist within its limited domain. Expanding the boundaries of that domain is top priority. Maybe some people will feel a bit stifled by the system, but it's for the greater good of humanity. We want the world to understand that. Yeah, so the whole thing of, we decide everything. We allocate everything. It's all good. And then people are like, hi, can I like, I don't like where I'm at. Can I work harder? And they're like, what? Work harder? You're, you're set. Don't do anything. And it's like, I kind of want more. You know, how come you guys are the top dogs? If I, if I was able to work, I'd be able to get to you guys maybe eventually. And they're like, what? No. Stop. You're but a commoner. It's like, so that's that's the big deal, it seems. You know, and of course, the downfall of most forms of socialism. Because, you know, in a vacuum, in a perfect world, socialism would be perfect. But alas, to err is human. And to want is human. And to be greedy is human. So, I don't think Leo's lying. 
He truly believes he's performing a great service for humanity. He's self-righteous, but looking at his face, I am jealous of his self-confidence. It's better to forget doubts like he has. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we didn't. Actually, there's not a lot that we learned from that, if, if I'm actually thinking about it. There's pretty much nothing, so... Take a sip of my tea as it's still scalding hot. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not too bad. Let's head on down to the second floor. What if I went to the first floor and just, like, screwed it up and... It's like, that's it. Sorry, you missed the item. Okay, let's see here. What's this place look like? Whoa, okay. Sand. Oh, waterfalls. Oh, this place is sick. Yo, this looks like a knight's level. Yo, I'm down with this. Yo, this is cool. Yo, 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 I like this. Ye gods. The last floor has a beauty unlike any other before. A sea that glistens gold under the tender touch of a brilliant sunset. A stage fitting for crowning a king. The last area. These are the final few yards of the long journey towards the Holy Grail. Whatever happens, it's the end. So why does this brilliant sun fill my heart with such unease? I haven't fought Leo once since the finals began. It's still unclear how powerful his servant is. He's the Knight of the Round Table, one of Arthur's chosen, Gawain the White Knight. I wonder if my abilities are a match for his. Well, there's no... No darkness imprisoning me music, so yo. Balls! You love to see them. Okay. Uh, so far we got some hungry, hungry hippos here. Let's take them out. I hate it when it's right there at the start, because then you don't know what it's going to be. Yeah, these guys don't guard much, so... Right, so let's see here. Even. And we're done. Goodbye. Okay, moving on. Let's fill out this area where there's nothing unless we can, like, walk on something. You know what? What am I doing? Whip. Switches out for the Sears Ball. Pop on the view map. Nice. Very useful ability. Very nice. And it lasts, like, remarkably long, I'd say. So we want the second strike. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so at least it shows us that, yeah, we do want to go this way. Ooh, you're a new enemy. What are you, sir? You are claustrophobia. All right. Well, just because I'm worried about, you know, this. Let's just do this. Not much, but enough to survive this first battle, you know. Okay, one big hit. Don't guard. Good. And this last hit should do it then. These guys are much bigger than they look on the map. Okay. Seems leveling up won't be too bad. We got here a Staff of Rebuke. What does that do? Staff of Rebuke. Uh, moderately heals Master's MP. No, sorry. Frick, reading stuff. Moderately heals Servant's MP. Oh! This one actually refills the Servant's MP, huh? Oh, okay. So now we can actually exchange. Nice. Now we can actually exchange. Like, if we if Servant MP used to be unrefillable, but now we got an item to do it, we just have to basically exchange Master MP into Servant MP. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's do this. One, nice crit. Two, even. Double paralysis, that sucks. Wow. Wow. We nearly died. That was remarkably fast. Okay, so we'll, we'll double guard that, thankfully. Because once we do this, this will get rid of our stun. Okay. Yeah, just the ability to just bite and instantly cause stun. 
is slightly a problem, but okay, let's head down this way. I'm not seeing any secret paths, which is good for us for sure. So I'm sure we're going to start finding some uh, story encounters in these rooms. Let's go get these items over here for sure. See a bunch here. Teacher's emblem. Is this the thing that grants wishes for Taiga? Where is it? Oh. Teacher's emblem. A simple red chip. A piece of software that expands the functionality of a system NPC. Okay, well, it is something that she wants, so... Let's get you after we get this. Pure ether. Yes, I've used a bunch of those, so gimme, gimme, gimme that. Okay. Well, now that we can more freely use some of these, I will. We won't get a super here with this, but or an uh, extra attack, but that's fine. I think we guarded. Dang, you hurt me. Okay. Jeez. Fighting new enemies is not fun. Okay. Got that one. Okay. This is pretty cheap, so it's like, yeah, just use it. Why not? Haha! -ha, got you. Read data? No! Okay. God, it is windy here. It's not nice. Okay, so I see a bunch of items here. Oh, I see the dude. In fact, you know what? Let's grab this and go after him. Oh, shoot. Magic Crystal Sphere. Okay. No! Oh, jeez. This ain't good, Chiefs. This ain't- this ain't it. Alright, um, we need to get this done then. Thunder, thunder, block, veil, veil, block. Okay, oh, we're out. Veil, block, block, okay. Let's do as much as we can here. These guys are a problem. That's a problem. Okay, I still did a thousand, which is good. Okay. I will definitely be outside of the battle, just um, filling up our stuff here when we can. Guard. And then let's go. Break, break, break. Except in here, let's pop a... Hmm, let's pop an ether crystal just to be careful. Midway through. Because I'm slightly worried halfway through. Okay. Even. Okay, we've been good. We didn't super need that. That's fine. Okay. Alright. I think we're good if we just do our full break strategy again. Uh, well, watch us not be. Come on, we just need one more good hit. I was close, but we did it. I am. So, uh, you know what? Let's pop a full recover here. And then... Let's go into our items. Let's equip that Staff of Rebuke. And we're going to then heal the Master MP just a bit. Let's see, how much do we get back? Okay, yeah, that's not bad. For 60 Master, you get... Oh, yeah, no, that's actually pretty good. Oh, shoot, man. This makes it so much easier. Because then you can just fully... Yeah, because Master healing items are something we got a ton of. So as such, now that we can convert that, like, just nice and freely, that's really, really good. Does it mean that we are going, gonna go through, like, tons of items? Absolutely. But if it works, it works. So, 
Let's put on the second uh, strike again. And double check this guy before we go and uh, do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, let's see here. I'm feeling good, that's why. I should honestly not do that. Nice. Oh, nice. Wow, okay. Good stuff. Should probably also hit a uh, safety save here. Okay. No longer effective. Uh, let's put that on again, just in case. Oh, this is, again, it just, it, it feels so powerful. Like, all these Mystic Codes really change things up. Whip. This floor doesn't actually seem too big, all things considered. So... Yeah, because we just got, like, down this hall. And then we got... Yeah, then it's just, like, right there. And so the item has to be kind of down in there. Sure. Now, there's gonna be something that happens in this hallway. I'm calling it right now. We're gonna get some... Yep. How did I know? Praetor, ready yourself. It seems our opponent has now entered the arena. Okay, so he entered from the other side, right? Yeah. I can sense that Leo's entered the arena as well. His aura isn't malevolent like Julius's or sharp like Rin's. The pure, unclouded flow of his magic makes me think of the sun shining in a clear blue sky. They seem to be broadcasting their presence. Interesting. Shall we respond to them? Isn't it reckless to head just into a battle? Still, it would help to see Gawain in action. Well, yeah, it probably is something we want to do. Okay. Oh, whoops. There's a golden opportunity. We should fight. Saber's a fair point. I should position myself for an attack. Okay, so we gotta head back then? Okay, I guess so. We're heading here. Okay. There he is. When we reach a passageway, uh, when we reach where a passageway empties into an open space, Leo appears at the other end. I exchange a quick glance for Saber before we jump out in front of Leo. To his credit, Leo doesn't react, other than smiling like he just ran into a friend. Konnichiwa. Hello, Hakuno, and hello. I don't believe we've been introduced. Nice to meet you, Saber. I look forward to fighting you from the bottom of my heart. If you are so intrigued, then why wait until the elimination battle? Let us spar a little. At Saber's word, Gawain's readies his sword. He somehow looks more hulking when he does so. Mm. That's right, knight. Draw your sword, for I'm not callow enough to cut down an unarmed person. Now then, let us play. I will show you the sharpness of that holy... S I will have you show me the sharpness of the holy sword. Your speech knows no humility. Contrary to your boastful words, your sword will not reach my king. As long as my lord lives, this holy sword cannot break. Ah, uh, well, good thing there's a moon up there. A holy sword. Wayne, one of the best known knights of the round table, holds the sister sword to Excalibur. Its name is... Galantine is its name. I have never seen a holy sword before. Even in the enemy hands, it gleams. Its blade was not made to gleam for you. It only shines for my king. I don't know how I feel about Gawain's stance. I'm gonna be real. I've seen it in various games, and I'm, it, it feels kind of weird. Is a tool to defeat the king's enemies, not a glittering piece of pomp, lewd emperor. So that is a shape your chivalry takes. Hmm, how twisted. When I am drunk, I boast of myself. But you are dead drunk on servitude. Do you not realize this? Enough of your words. We you shall feel what it means for a sword to be guided by a righteous king. All right, here we go. Let's see. Okay. We are at level one, so we get, what, one, right? Yeah. Let's go... Let's go Thrice Setting Sun, just to be careful. It's probably gonna pop a skill at some point, too. Um... Break, attack, attack, break, uh, guard, guard, okay. Okay, get, get that going. Okay, he did a break at the start. Divine Aegis, I'll pierce through that armor, okay. Siege Perilous. I'll knock the wind out of your defense up. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hmm. This ain't going hot so far. Recover. 
So we started with a break, so attack. And then let's do uh, guard, guard, attack, attack, guard. All right, let's try this. Again, we just got to survive three turns. We don't need to win. Mm. Wow, that's a lot. Blade of the Devoted here. Okay. Oh, jeez. Invalid, huh? Wow. Even, even with the... Jeez. And there's a code cast there, too. Okay. Let's recover. No, let's go guard. And then we're going to do recover and um, thrice. Guard, 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 break. Okay, let's try that. Okay, good. Okay, you just got to survive again. Yep. As long as we get to the end of this turn. Ow. Bo oh, he's just bombing us. Okay. Alright, that's a stun. It's basically Gander. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How actually brilliant. Okay, that's fine. We survived. Oh, jeez. Well, just one more turn is all we need. Okay. Zero damage to him. This is not good. Queen, it seems the time is up. Put your sword away. As you command. I have the Seraph Sinner invention to thank for my life, I believe. There isn't a single scratch on Gawain's silver armor, but Saber is struggling for breath. It was fun, Hakuno. I look forward to engaging you in combat again. With a smile, Leo disappears off into the arena. What is the meaning of this? Never mind that sword, how was he able to avoid taking damage? Truly, he is a knight imbued with the power of Helios. That was no falsehood. It was too much. I, as well as Saber, have overcome a lot of powerful enemies, but it's beyond us to even make a scratch on Gawain's armor. Just four days remain before the elimination battle. I wonder if we can really close the gap in ability before then. There must be something we can do. If we don't find a solution, I won't be able to reach the Holy Grail. Oh yeah, so we, we, we got the enemy information, which is the important thing. Even if it basically took us nearly dying. She still got a lot of uh, MP there, so we should be good. And let's go through all these while we can. Uh, throw them out one at a time. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we've grinded enough to get a bunch of these, huh? Okay, well... The good news is, we should be able to progress on our way with not much else. Leo disappears in the arena. I should be able to have a rematch if I catch up with him. However, Saber couldn't deal a lick of damage. His strength must be... Unless we eliminate that, we'll just keep repeating the same battle over and over. Recklessness won't bring about change. Unfortunately, I have to think of a plan. Uh, they don't want us progressing further in the arena today. Okay. Well, that's good to know for sure. Um, so we got the item, though, for, for Taiga, and that's the important thing. So tomorrow, we'll head in deeper and hopefully find ourselves the, um, thing we need. Return to campus? Yes, please. Well, how are we doing? To think my blade could not even scratch him, that Knight of the Sun is impressive. I swear there must be a trick behind it. We must find out or the upcoming elimination battle will be short. What four days remain? You have overcome greater obstacles, so why not this as well? We are at least already the target level, so there's that good. Alright. Let's take a look at this. Excalibur Galantine, the Resurrected Sword of Victory. Sword of Sir Gawain and the Sister Sword to Excalibur. It said me like Excalibur. Uh, or said that like Excalibur... Galantine once belonged to the Lady of the Lake, however, its legends have been overshadowed by its more famous counterpart, and there are few people who know of its true significance. Another difference is that while Excalibur was said to absorb the light radiated from the Earth, Galantine reflected the warming rays of the Sun. That's pretty important. Knight of the Sun. While Arthur was ruled by the movement of Artemis, the goddess of the moon, Sir Gawain drew his strength as a Knight of the Sun. It is said that his powers are at their greatest when the Sun is at its zenith. Yep, we know what to do there. Excalibur. That's 
Okay, it's just information on Excalibur because it's related. Arthur is said to be the mightiest of all knights to rule Britain. It is believed to have ruled sometime in the 5th or 6th century. The sword that is said to have proclaimed his right to rule was bestowed upon him by the elemental in the legends known as Lady Lake. Interesting. Did not know that the Lady of Lake was an elemental. The entire episode was passed down in the stories collectively known as King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. That's what it actually is. Don't, don't, this game actually has it wrong. What a good intro. Anyways, um, let's do this and continue on. So our next, our next bet is to, well, just try and go deeper when he's not there. Gawain is so strong. The power he met with in, uh, met me with in the arena surpassed my expectations. Saber's attacks didn't even put a scratch in my his armor. Critter, you should not keep your thoughts to yourself. Endlessly ruminating is futile. Instead, you should speak to me. It is boring to be left alone. Inappropriate as it is for me to say, have not all your opponents up to now been greater than you? Yes, they have. Yet, with tenacious persistence, you were able to overcome them. Why should you cower now? You are not alone. I am your companion, as is Rani. You can overcome any blows, as I will suffer these blows with you. Well, more for me, but... That's right, not a single fight has been easy. I should need to do the same thing one more time, just once more. I shouldn't worry, because I have Rani as my ally. Okay. I think that's that's a tip. Hey! Go see Rani. Also, I guess we haven't gotten to go talk to Saber in our room for a bit. Let's see if she has some new stuff. Not that I don't think we've achieved anything to get a new thing here. Oh, we do! Okay, hello. The room is pregnant. I don't like that word. Please don't use that. With solemn anticipation of the final battle, Saber occasionally glances out the window. That's right, this is the last calm before the storm and the last time we can talk together. In that case, I want to know more about the life that led her to becoming a heroic spirit. So I feel like we've pieced together a lot of it already, at least. Saber gives a small smile and launches into her story. This is the story of the birth and death of the infamous Emperor Nero. Oh, wow. Are we going to get, like, actually to see parts of it? She was born at daybreak. It was the end of the family line, but as the child of a weak father whom no one supported, she was not to seek the throne. The first turning point of the life was with her mother's debauchery. Nero's twice-widowed mother married the emperor, her uncle, in order to make her child the next emperor. In an extreme measure, she murdered the fourth Roman emperor, Claudius, and Nero ascended to the throne. Oh, we do get some art, huh? See, now this makes me interested for what Archer's is. Hmm. What I might do is, because I'm honestly, I don't, I... I really don't think I'm going to be doing full playthroughs of the other characters or other paths. I might just look it up on my own, but I know there'll be people who kind of want to see it and, or watch it, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Nero had no love lost for her family members who resented Nero's illegitimate birth, right, rather. Put more accurately, she loved the nameless citizens more than her famous noble relatives. Nero decided to take issue with the depraved government and the privileged senate. History records, history records she was a tyrant who led Rome to its decay, and she was, but it neglects to list her reforms. After reclaiming the throne, Nero gave out all the money to all citizens' celebration. She then abolished all indirect taxes. When the Senate attempted to thank her, she refused, telling them they could do it when she had earned it. What terrible irony it is that her humility would be overshadowed. The path to her reforms was rife with thorns. Conflicts with the Senate erupted over the unification of the Roman Empire's troublesome provinces. On top of that, her conflicts with her mother Agrippina became more pronounced. Nero's mother, Agrippina, only saw her as a tool to becoming the mother of the Emperor. She was trapped by endless dithering, with the Senate and a mother who made policies in self-interest. I don't know what sort of fissures emerged in her spirit as a result of those pressures. However, as a result, she resolved to assassinate her predatory mother before dealing with the Senate. 
But the assassination failed and the only thing she could do was cut down her mother publicly. This woman tried to poison me. Though she was my mother, she had to die for opposing the Emperor. It's 59 AD. Your Nero's reputation as a tyrant was cemented. Which, of course, um, fully explains why she's so placid in this game. It's a continual headache. Yes, silver's bad. Silver poisoning's real. Drinking out of a silver cup all the time would actually break your brain. Saber speaks indifferently about a childhood filled with poison and lies in her struggles emperor. And Nero's life took an even sharper turn. Nero's wife, Octavia, a woman whom her mother had pressured in her into marrying, committed suicide. She murdered her younger stepbrother in order to secure her influence, and then... Then she drove her sole mentor, the philosopher Seneca, to suicide. Thanks to her own selfish actions, Nero had become a monster to a relative. Relatives, while she boasted of popularity with the masses... セネカに自陣されたのはさすがに答えた。確かな父のいないようにとってあやつはそのなんだ。世間一般で言う父のような男だった。要は許すと言ったのだ。何度でも許すと。だが。in your house. Oof. Admittedly. Admittedly, I don't know much about it personally. となると、後はもう最後だけか。確かガリアにて反乱が起きたのだ。要はこれを放置した。あの時の気持ちは今でもわからぬ。反乱を起こしたウィンデクスを信頼していたのかもしれぬし。もういっそ全てなくなってしま
悲しくはあるが恨みはせぬ But your history doesn't see it that way. むしろそれが最大の過ちだった。よと彼らとでは愛の形が違ったのだ。Love? So she did love her people, but what couldn't they understand? よの愛はそなたらの言う愛とはどうも違うようなのだ。この胸にともる愛は。人々のそれに比べるとおおらかにすぎるらしい。世の愛はわがままだ。何もかも与える代わりに何もかも奪わねば気が済まない。はあ、美しいもの、愛すべきものには前例をもって答える。だが、それはただの炎だ。人々が抱く愛とはもっと柔らかいものだった。世はそこを分かっていなかったいや気づいていたのだでもどうしても理解できなかった私には彼らの友愛がどうしてもシムズルバリューシステムズルディフェント That's why Nero was chased from the seat of his empire Knowing her, I at least have a vague understanding of how her love and the people's love differed. Her love burnt out offering and devoting everything. Her passion burned brightly without regard to permanence. Nero loved her citizens as she thought she was right, but the love her citizens preferred was different, and the difference invited Nero's fall. <laughs> Saber gazes out the window, a faraway look in her eyes. Perhaps she was thinking of the red sky and setting sun she saw in her last moments. If she couldn't share their love, she must have been alone. While、well, this woman could love more than any person, She could not experience the joy of being loved. Her lavish expressions of love were not enough to satisfy her people. In the end, unloved, she tried to push the dagger into her own throat again and again. A sense of lie. I don't think this pure fear of death dictated this woman's hesitations. She struggled because she didn't want to die. Didn't think she had done any wrong, but really, she didn't want to disappear because. I have to love the way they do. That's it. She couldn't bear the thought of dying without anyone loving her. Wow. Big old deep backstory. It's kind of nice that you could get, like, you know, one opportunity to just let's go in, right? Which, again, makes me kind of want to. Like, with, with, with Archer, I know him enough that I can just look at that and understand. I probably wouldn't with Tamamo. So I feel like with her, there's too much going on in the background for me to not, you know, like, I want to know other stuff, right? Shake my head to cast off the dizziness. It was like I've been drawn into the events themselves through the Bonvar contract. Well, I guess, yeah, you guys don't have the, the, the dream sharing in this world. Like most servants, you know, most servant connections, you get to see their dreams and stuff, but not here. Fond reminiscence plays across her features. She had made some peace with a life filled with betrayal, suffering, conflict, and misunderstandings. If I were a knight, I would genuflect and kiss her hand. All that stuff about magic circuits and sword techniques aside, this woman is truly a heroic spirit. It's impossible not to deeply admire a such a person for making peace with a soiled life. It's real tough to tell what is said and what's not. Of course. 
All this time I've been protected by her strength, but one day I wish to become her equal. I want that more than anything. And so I finally found it. I shouldn't ask this of the Holy Grail. It's too wasteful to ask this of the Holy Grail. It's so boring yet at the same time. Oh! Ally is now EX. What does that give? What does what does increasing her rank to max give? Huh. Well, I guess if we get a mirror match, we'll be good, huh? What's even new here? It says up. Oh, Royal Prerogative is up. Okay. Uh, Royal Prerogative EX. In response to the demands of master skills that would be otherwise be impossible to perform can be used for a short time. Some of the skills include those acquired through this ability. Riding, weapons, mastery, fine arts, military strength, diplomacy. Should A rank be achieved more S? Okay, so yeah, that's that's a really good one there of being able to switch classes. Um, uh, Imperial Privilege is, I think, the official name for that one. It's a cool one. Just the ability to be like, yeah, by the way, I can, you know, take on other attributes for a while. Hi, Rani. You fought against the servant of the Harway Sion? I, or Sion, rather. I tell Rani about my encounter with Gawain, who I'd fought against the previous day. His name, which bears no shame, the blade that shines like the sun, is apparent invincibility. He may be strong, but why other than hubris did Gawain reveal his true name to you? I wonder if the legends of him receiving divine protection have an element of truth to them. As long as the sun shines, Gawain might be the mightiest heroic spirit, even greater than Arthur. The power of legend. Gawain's exploits are described in the details of the Knights of the Round Table mythos. It said he was a hero who was blessed with great powers by the sun. When I think about it, his abilities seem to have been taken straight from the legends. However, even heroes can die, and in the end, too, Gawain will succumb to death. No matter how powerful he may be, he cannot escape the ties that bind him to his legend. Per the legend, if one were to overcome his greatest strength, he'll be left vulnerable. The stories say Sir Lancelot grievously wounded Sir Gawain by waiting until the sun set before attacking. But in the Seraph, the arena days are controlled by the system. I can't imagine the sun setting while inside there. What if we hack the system? Yeah, then I shall have to block out the sun. Unfortunately, my power is such that it'll only be for a moment, and I can't guarantee it'll work. Well, Rani's powers as a wizard is without question to use such an advanced technique. I wonder if there's something I can do to help. This will take a great deal of focus, so I'll need a place where I won't be interrupted. At first, I couldn't think of a place on campus that a wizard could work without bother. Maybe the multimedia- yeah, because we can get in there that Julius was using before. But the secret gaining access to it probably died with its original occupant. For now, I'll poke around the multimedia room. Maybe I'll find a clue to get in. Hmm. Well, right here. Multimedia room. This place must have uh, facilities that support extensive hacking. I place my hand on the door and wonder how I can get in. I knew it. I earn a mild electric shock when I touch the door. It's been booby trapped. As much as I don't like speaking poorly of the dead, that guy was such a pain. Julius has barred the way so that no one may enter. Even in death, he confounds our plans. I have an idea. If only Julius had entered, then I'd just have to pretend to be Julius. How am I going to masquerade as a guy I don't know? only had something of his. Anyway, I'll go look around the place where I fought Julius. Maybe I'll find a clue. So you want us to go back to the first floor? Huh. Interesting. Interesting twist. I mean, I guess we have the time for it, so it should be fine. But still. Huh. Hi! We got your thing! So, did you find it? The object that grants wishes? Gave me the teacher's emblem. This isn't it. Ah, <sighs> please, you have to get it for me. Come on, you'll try again, won't you? If I must. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have my gratitude. The object that grants wishes has to be on the arena's second floor. It has to. That area is probably over the sea right now, so everything should be copacetic. After two days' time, good, good. I won't be able to see you again, so please get what I asked before then. Okay, I... Might need to Google if I want to go there first or not. Because I feel like this could also... Okay, hmm. How can I go to both at once? Because... Okay, so... Um, I'm going to my walkthrough website just for the fact that... Um, I'm just checking. Does it want me to get... 
Does it want me to get the thing for... Um, oh, where's just the root path here? Um, does it want me to get the thing now, or can I hold off? I'm going to check. I'm going to check. Um, oh, just give me a moment, because it's so tough to get around this website. Um, okay, so... Let's go Ranny uh, Gawain. Let's see if that one comes up. Final section, Ranny Root. Here we go, this is what I want. Okay, and so we're on day four, right? Um, she told you the wrong item. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay. So, okay, I go to the first floor today. And then I can go tomorrow to get it to give to her. Okay, sounds good. Okay, sounds good. So, let's go ahead to the first floor again today. What are we going to find of his? Boy, Julius is more important to the story than I honestly expected. First floor first. Okay, so we're going up. Grab that item. One of Julius's possessions. We need a bit of his data in order to fool the protection protocols placed on the multimedia room. Perhaps I should go where he and I fought and where he disappeared. I might be able to find something of his there, or at least some kind of clue. There is much time left in the prep period. If I don't look into it today, I may not get another chance. I should be a bit more cautious when I go exploring. So, this is an interesting thing. I didn't mean to press that. I actually wanted this. This game has kind of a false idea of the schedule. Like, it really makes you feel like you need to do everything on, you know, certain days. That is something I kind of hope changes. Oh, we got cursed. Is that, like, poison? Must be. Um, that's something I kind of hope gets changed for the remake. I want the actual ability to do multiple things in a set period of time. Because otherwise it's like... Does it really matter that, you know, you have the choice of what to do each day? You're pretty much set, right? So, we'll see here. Are we gonna get a triple? We are. Man, I understand why they didn't make the, the other one be like a third strike. You know, it's like you do three of them. Because that'd be broken, right? That would be super broken. Let's get this guy just for the experience. I will be doing a bit of grinding before the end, so there's no worry about that, but... Alright, here we go. One... Two... Three... Ah, you fool. I think we got him. He just comes... He might hit me in this hit here. Well, no, we're even. Nice. Goodbye. Nice, 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 nice. Get an ether crystal. Let's go head on up. A battle if characters are on the way. You know. Just to, to get it done there. Save myself a bit of time for next time. I can't tell when this guy's looking forward or backwards. It's like it's real tough. Oh, you're done. Goodbye. One. To, does break deal? I mean, I've played this long. I can't tell. Does break deal more damage than just a straight up attack? I feel like it does, but it honestly, at times, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's go head on up. Ooh, God. The delay on your thing is so long. It works so much better as like a ranged thing. Okay, here we go. One. So that did 53. 653. That doesn't matter. That deal. Well, that's a crit. That doesn't count. 608. Like, yeah, it's like tough to tell. Okay. And. Continue around the bend. I do love this game's soundtrack, and I hope. 
for remixes and more original tunes next time in the in in both CCC and uh, the remake there. And yeah, like uh, obviously I'll get to CCC when I get to CCC because it is a case of I need I need it to come out, you know. So he's gonna try biting me. So that's what I'm doing. In English, it needs to come out in English. I own CCC physically, so you know, so I literally can see it right there. Maybe one, you know, I feel like it's work is progressing on it, which is nice. The big hard part about those translations is making the tools to translate. Like once, once you can actually start like putting in stuff into the script, that's easy. That's the easy part, right? The hard part is um, getting getting the tools there to go, because once you have the tools, then it's just a case of you can hire almost anyone to do the script. Like as long as they can, as long as they can write, also Al, as long as they can translate, then that stuff's being done. The programming aspect is the hard part. Okay, power up. Okay. You don't. Thank you. You guys are a problem. Good experience, though, for sure. Okay, we fought here, right? Ah, hello. Hey, this is here's this is where we fought with Julius, and where he finally disappeared for good. To carefully examine where he stood, I see a black feather lying on the floor. Obtain the obsidian feather. That looks to be one of the feathers that adorned the coat he always wore. I'm sure it will have a number of his thoughts and memories embedded in it. Interesting thought. Maybe something so tied to Julius would be enough to break through the protection. I'll give it a try as soon as I return to campus. Um... Okay, let me quickly get ourselves one final level here before I end the day. Because I might as well do it while I'm here. Alright, there we go. Man, jeez. Does the ability to restore servant MP break grinding? Because um, you can just then spend your your cheap attacks for free hits, huh? Amazing. Well, all right, guys. Uh, with that said, we do have that there. And we will see you next time for some more Fate Extra, where we, uh, I guess, take on Leo, probably? We'll see, because there's only two days left, and it's going to be... You know, one day of work, get the last stuff, grinding, then we go. So I'll see you then next time for that, guys. Ciao.